Hi guys, here we are. Welcome to another episode of Developers Accomplice Plays Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. We're, we're finally back. You guys have been waiting so patiently, and I apologise for keeping you waiting. Um, but here we are. Uh, right. So without any further ado, let's uh, let's get off this Tower of Terror ride. Uh, let's close that down. Ooh. Quack quack. Got some ducks. Uh, right, without any further ado, let's head over to where we were last at, which was our fantasy section. And you'll notice that there's some big changes have happened here. Pretty much editing. So yeah, you can see these toadstools we've got everywhere. Kind of done a uh, mushroom themed here, as well as a magical theme. Um, got a couple of shops as well. So this one here is our potion shack, which sells all your spooky shakes. Uh, the one we've got over here is our witch's hats. And we've got one round here. Turn the camera. It's fucking annoying camera. There we are. We've got our uh, s fucking hell. Here we are. Right. We've got our uh, toastal treats, which should be con uh, to toffee apple. There we are. Right. And in here is a toilet. I've used an invisible toilet and just popped this over the top. They're going to go in and do their business. Uh, a couple of rides as well, put some flat rides in. We've got a uh, crooked house here which I've called Grandma's House because you know how creepy Grandma is. There are wet slurry kisses. And uh, down here we've got a twist which I've covered in trellis and kind of made a bit more mystical. I've also put these trees around it to make it more overgrown. Um, I don't know if you've been to Alton Towers before, but if you've had, uh, if you have been there, there's uh, you've got like the 13 areas with covered in trees, and it's really well designed. So I kind of took a bit of inspiration from that with the overgrown effect. Uh, let's see if we can go and have a look. Yeah, I can't really. The camera's a bit crap on this game, so can't really get in too much. But yeah, that's all there. All right then, so. Uh, the roller coaster is probably the thing you're most interested in. It's all finished. All the supports have been put in. These are all Intamin mini coaster supports. Uh, they've all been put in properly. And on the helixes, though, I've used trees to support them. Well, the illusion of trees. And it works pretty well. So, i tell you what. Let's go and ride this. Let's do this. Let's get on there. It's already on play. Let's get in the front seat. I would put the camera like this so you can see, or like this, but it tends to ruin it. This is too high, you, you hit stuff. It's not good. Let's just sit where we're intended to sit as a customer, a guest. Alright then. So we're just going to come out the station. Got a block break to hit first. There we are. Drops down. Full circle spin and we'll come up the uh, lift hill through the trees. Uh, there's a ridge over here. That'll all be covered in forest and trees. A couple of you suggested su suggested a Badlands area, so I'm going to be creating that next. Got a nice few rides for that. Alright, we've got a uh, section here we're going to spin quite a lot. Don't know what they call it. It's like a snake run or something. I'm not too sure, but yep. And a uh, nice big drop here. Another brake section. Nice big drop into an overbank turn. And uh, through our rocky cavern, coming out diagonally over the path to another brake section. Uh, we're going to drop down into our helixes. Now I must apologise for the probably getting a really low lag frame rate on this. Uh, that's due to the specs of the system I'm running. You have asked me about that as well. Um, I'm currently actually using an Acer notebook, an Acer One Aspire. Um, that can do some pretty gnarly things, but it is just a notebook. It's not a high spec PC, so you might be surprised to know that's what I'm using. All right, so there we go. We finished our run there. Um, I'm probably going to change these barriers here to either a brown or a purple because at the minute they're red and it doesn't fit in with the style of this area. Right, that's done. 
All right, so you're probably thinking, well, this is pretty much done, Chris. What do we need to do? Well, actually, there's a couple of things we need to do. One of them is finish off the ground layer, because at the minute, it's just grass. There's nothing here, no, no, uh, no flowers or anything. So we're going to finish the finish it off with a bit of flowering and uh, whatever. So uh, we're going to go down into our section here. I've got a station gym gardening. This is a beautiful piece. I actually love this. Uh, just little things like this. So I'm going to put it under a quarter tile. Baby breath. Just stick a load of flowers in. Doesn't matter where they go. That does. I don't want it there. It's on track. Just going to stick it everywhere and anywhere. As long as it doesn't cover my track, I really don't care. Down flowers. What have we got? A. Uh, don't want tapery. Mini sunflowers. Edge tiles. I'm doing edge tiles and quarter tiles. They'll go into different places. They're not all stuck to the. Not sitting and clicking in the same places that I've already clicked before. If you've ever been hiking up mountains or in, in the wildness. The wildness. Wildness. I'm just making up new words here. I should start my own dictionary, my own language. Um, yeah, if you've ever been out in the wilderness, up mountains, hills, areas like that, um, you'll know that there's actually quite a lot of, of flowers around. Um, it's just it's not all trees and overgrowth and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's beautiful world out there. Go 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 have a look. Go see. Don't spend all your time indoors playing this game like me. Actually, get out and see some things. Like here will do. It's areas like this that I feel I need to decorate a bit more, where you can actually see the the connection between the um, the path and the undergrowth. There's oh, we've got a floating plant. We don't want floating plants. Is that a floating one? No. Right. Yeah. It's it's kind of like you've got pat. It's, this looks patchy and horrible, but honestly, right now I just cannot be fucked. Um, I think I'm just going to cheat a bit with this. I'm going to go to my foliage set I've got up top here. We have some ground cover and some greenery. Uh, I'm just going to go to ground cover like this and literally just go like this. This makes it look a whole lot better. Yes, it's cheating, but there's times when you just cannot be asked, and this is one of them. Right. So I think, to be honest, that's going to do. I don't want to put too much in there. There's only one more piece of thing that, or two things I need to do to this section now. One is going to be um, adding in a particle effect. I think I can just get them under particle effects, actually. There we are, yeah, particle effects, missed. That doesn't really seem to be doing much, does it? Ah, there we are. There's a bit of mist. That's what we need. Right. It's deciding to wake up. I'm going to put one more in here. Things like... Because this is a... This is one from a, from the game. It's not custom. It's a vanilla piece. It's, uh, it's visible, so I have to try and hide it underneath all this stuff. Okay, like, I can't put it underneath a house because there's no house to put it under. Like here under a rock. This works for me. I have a misty mist. Misty mist mist. Right. That's good. I'm happy with that. I might put a bit of mist in here actually. Oh, these fucking trees get so annoying. I really should put them in last. Oh, that's interesting. That should not have happened. 
that's better. Okay, right, now that's done. There's only one more thing I'm going to put in, that's a few lights. Um, so the lights section, I need to remember where I put these lights. Lights, lights, lights. They are spotlight thingies. I should really have a look at my previous videos to find out where I got these from. This is how long I haven't played this for. Um, let's save, because we know how temperamental Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 can be when you have mods. So let's save that. Let's try and find these lights. They may be in here. And I just remembered where they are. They're in here, I think. Near the top. Light set. Here we are. I think I need one. Uh, yeah, blue, green, and so I'm gonna go for a green light in this area because we're in a wood. That's pretty much the whole park is. I think if I pop one in here, it should be just fine. Let's turn the lights up. Yeah, that's what we want. We want effects like that. We don't. I don't want to see the actual dot. I just want to see the effects of the dot. Like that. There we are. Things like this I'm probably going to put red. Um, grandma's house down here, that can be red. Like this toadstool here. So I'm going to use this toadstool to hide my light. But I can't actually see where my light is. Here I'm going to go for a, a blue because it is the uh, is the undergrowth and swamp. I suppose that should be green colour, but we're near water, so I think I'm going to go for that. That gives it quite a nice haze. I like that. Yeah, I like the blue. Reflects really well in the water as well. If this is making you dizzy, I apologise. <laughs> it's just the name of the game. Yeah, I'm gonna put one here and then put a bit of rock on top of it. Break run can just be as it is. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think that'll do nicely. So we've just got to put a few more rocks in. I'm going to use the foliage rocks. Just this small one should be fine. about going too low. There we are. Where's this other one? I'll find you. There we are. That's all it needs, just like that. Uh, one of these down here. Oh, it's getting caught amongst the hillside. Alright then, so that's uh, all nicely lit up for us, right. So this area is pretty much complete now, um, let's just save it. And I think we should have a go at night time now. Let's set it to night. There we are, the top one. This time I'm going to put it on the front view. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but um, I want you to... 
the front view on this camera isn't right on the front, they've stuck it on the bottom part of the uh, car because that's the part that doesn't spin. But this way we can see um, where we're going. Okay. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's going to lag pretty badly now because it's dark and the light and particle effects tend to make it lag. This is one thing I'm dreading when this park starts to get really full is it's going to lag really badly especially when we have our opening down here it's going to be horrendous and it's probably going to crash. Um, if you've noticed I've kept the park shut for now uh, that's purely because of the reason that it just saves so much memory. Alright we're lagging on the corners There we are. Beautiful colours. We are hitting some foliage and trees, but I don't, I'm not going to change them now. And we're lagging oh, through our misty tunnel. Going to come out the other side. Lots and lots of lag. I'll probably edit this part and just change it so it doesn't lag so much and into our blue swampy section I really like that it really works well it lights up the track and it, the mist seems to light up as well it's the final helix and then into the brake run There we are, fantastic. Right, so that's all there. Um, I think there's only one more thing that I think you might want to do is uh, possibly have a go on pixie dust, I've called it. Yeah. Hopefully, this won't lag really badly. I've got a feeling, no. That's how I'm going to do. We're just going to get off that for a second. I'm going to close this coaster because that is going to cause a load of lag. Like I said, this is just a netbook. Oh, the, the lag on this is terrible. There we go. This is one ride which I've actually never really done a first person on ever ever since I've played it I've never sat and rode this before We've got all our rocks into our overgrown area trellis there's the tree in the corner you can't really see it because it's too dark there's shadows and if you've noticed I've got rid of the entrance barrier but it kept a person there but the exit still has a barrier. Um, I've done that because lots of rides do that kind of thing. Um, they generally have somebody on the exit as well, but we don't have the option to have the person on the exit, so I haven't done it. Right, that's done, it's starting to rain, so let's make it daytime and skip through the rain. Right, well that's the third area of the park now. Don't forget our magical ride which is underneath here. To watch that, head and watch the uh, previous video. Um, yeah. Alright, well, I've been Chris, you've been great. Thanks for watching Developers Accomplice Page Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. Um, for more of our videos, subscribe to our channel. Head over to our website, www.developersaccomplice.co.uk and um, you can find our videos on there of other games, news and reviews. Uh, previous episodes up right here now. Click here to watch it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.